about to learn y'all center cut pork chops and some fire deer meat back straps. Let's get it, dude. Now, the way I cook these back straps, dude, I have plenty of people telling me, I don't like deer meat. Deer meat's nasty. And I cook this for them. They're like, what in the world? These are the best back straps I ever ate. And I'm about to learn, y'all. Let's get it. First of all, this is the time when it doesn't matter how big the deer is. They ain't worried about points right now. And I finally get to use my Thor hammer. Smash it down, each of these back straps. The bag keeps it from splattering, Couillon. Take your back straps, put it in your pan, your little bowl. Low sodium Dales, very important. Low sodium Dales. Boom. That W sauce, dude. Whoop. Don't forget about the two step. We're gonna mix that all around. Put that in the ice box for 30 minutes. And you can peek if you want this time. Now this is a game changer when it comes to grilling pork chops. Do it the same way and I promise you, it's gonna be something you ain't never had before, dude. Center cut pork chops, they're beautiful. Put them in there with the back straps. Same thing, cover them all up. Put a little more seasoning on there. The back straps gonna be the appetizers, but the pork chops are gonna be the main course. Mix that around good. Put that in the ice box, 30 minutes. Now these back straps, they're appetizers. It don't take long. Don't overcook your deer meat. Pop them on there. These are gonna be the most juiciest, tenderest back straps you have ever had. A lot of people fry them. Yep, they good fried, but this is a whole different way. A little healthier and a little better for you, dude. Don't take long. About 30 seconds on each side, dude. Look how pretty. I want them red, man. They gonna be beautiful. Look at this. Look how pretty. 30 seconds give us about just enough time to wait and hydrate, dude. Ah, that's money. Time to pull them off, dude. Look how juicy and pretty these back straps are. This definitely was probably a three-pointer. Definitely. See how tender it is, dude? At this point, you could chop this up and make burritos or tacos or do whatever you want with it. But I'm gonna eat it just like this, dude. Mm -hmm. If you do anything I ever done, I want you to please try your pork chops like this. I'm telling you, with the price of beef, you ain't gonna tell the difference, dude. These are gonna be money. Look how beautiful, look how pretty these are. Big center cut hoog right there. Look at it, they are gonna be so juicy, tender. We have a juice on there like that. We save that, pour that. Oh, well, y'all know what we're about to get going on here, brother. Mm -hmm. I just want to show y'all how juicy these back scraps are. I don't usually cut them, but I'm going to cut them for y'all. Look, you can see it running. Look at that. Look at the juices. Look at that. Look how beautiful. And I might have cooked these too long. Look. Look at the juice. Oh, Lord. Let me. Sase bon, dude. That's killer money mm. now before i go serve my little appetizer deer meat i'm gonna let these sit on here over these lump charcoal that's all i got probably about i don't know 20 minutes and we'll check them while we wait yeah, we're gonna double hydrate wow, i'm gonna flip them dude look how pretty this is gonna be money bro oh bro look at that one nice little char on that cool I'm telling y'all, try this, please. One time for me. Time to pull them off, dude. Look how pretty they come out. Check the back side. Oh. Y'all don't try this, y'all missing out. Especially on them back scraps, dude. And them old hog meat. Look at that one just flew in there. He knew where he had to go. Boom. Everybody going, boy, it's going to be so juicy. Look at that. I can see it. Look at it. Falling off the bone, dude. That's money. Tick pork chops will be dry, dude. Come check this out. Uh, you see the juice? Look at the juices running out of here. Look at it. Cook perfectly. One thing I have to do is put that on a cracker, dude. Life's out. Money, dude. I'm out. The fire rice, the Jimmy Crack corn in the cookbook. But then pork chops, not in the cookbook, pretty easy. 
And we put all of that on a cracker, dude. Now that's money.